Hey guys, what's going on? It's UK. I'm coming to you with video number 90. Well, I hope it's video number 90. It gets kind of annoying sometimes to like like number each video, but I do it because I know at least if I talk about anything or I'm looking for like to watch my own video, I can be like, okay, well, it's in video number 50 or video whatever. So, um not only it does it help me, but it, it might help somebody that I might say, okay, refer to video, whatever. It's annoying though, but with my other YouTube page, I don't number anything. I just put it up. I had that YouTube page for quite some time. That's my first YouTube page. I don't use it as, as much because, I mean, the only thing really popping and going on in my life is um, mainly, you know, surgery related and stuff like that. So, um,. When I do make videos on my other channel, I might talk about, like, you know, reviews of makeup or, like, natural hair products or... But, I mean, my video, my videos on the other channel consist of, like, you know, reviews of stuff. Hair-related and, you know, sometimes I'll talk about something that I like. But anyway, what's this on my head? Anywho, so, I went to see the GI today... Um, when they called me on the phone, they said my appointment was at 10.15. They called me this weekend. The computer usually calls me to verify an appointment days in advance. So I said, oh, okay. Um, I'm going to, like, definitely, definitely, you know, just go. But at the, f at the same time, I they had sent me a paper, like, two months ago saying, we want you to come in. We got your results. And, um... I could have sworn I saw 8.30 on there, but turns out it was 9.45. But, um, either which way, it's funny, because I made an appointment, I had to make another appointment, and I'll tell you why. But, I was like, is there anything later? She's like, oh, they don't let you in after 10. But I'm like, uh, yeah, you gotta, like, if you go based on what that machine called you and said, you'd be like, okay, I'm coming for 10.15, I'll come for 10.15, but I got there. A little bit later, um, man. So, so what's the story? So yeah, so got there. The wait, they were pretty slow today. I didn't get seen until maybe almost 12 o'clock, 11:30, 11:40. I got there 9:40. So that was two hours of waiting. Finally seen. And in a nutshell, he just said, you know, he asked me my basic questions, stuff that he's stuff that's in there, but they have to always ask you the questions all the time. It's really annoying. Um, he was like, you know, my stomach looked good. It was nice and pink. No gastritis. Blase, blase. And, um, so I had told him just to remind him, like, you know, I have, um, H. pylori. And he too said usually they don't... It's crazy because when I... It's only when I was... When I left, I was like, he said two opposite things. He said they don't... We don't usually treat it unless you're having symptoms, but then later on he said, um, but you should treat it though. So which one is it? So, cause I expressed like, I'm like, my anger, like, cause he told me, take the meds and wait four weeks, four to five weeks after you finish with your meds, which the meds is usually two weeks, and then you retest for it cause he says it takes a while. So I mentioned to him that my surgeon's, uh, assistant, she said that I was I was able to take it in 10 days. He was like, I would advise you not to do that, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I still wanted to be like, and then it's like, I got frustrated because it's like, I'm hearing different things. And I don't like hearing different things about one particular thing. If we're talking about a green shirt, and you know, you want to know about a green shirt, it should be that it's green, probably made in China or whatever. The, you know, that's it. I don't want to hear that one person tell me it's made in hair. And then I don't like different information for one particular thing. So anyway, so after I saw him, but now I'm just kind of confused because I'm like, should I even bother to walk with a stool sample? Who wants to walk around with doodle in a bag, you know? So I was like, okay, I'm going to go see Christina. So I went to Christina. At first they wanted to say, oh, she might be in surgery. So I was like, okay. So then they called and checked, and then she was on the floor. I was like, yes. So I was like, you remember you told me that by the 10th day should be clear? Because I explained to her what the guy said and that um they want me to re retest. So I had made an appointment to retest. Because before I saw her, I was looking at my calendar, and uh, the fourth week will probably... I, I made an appointment for the 20th because they only see people... 
I mean, it works out fine because it's actually four weeks it's on the twentieth, and then they'd wait for that. So it'll take three days. So by the twenty-third, they'd get the results. And if I'm negative, then I make uh uh, uh then um she put it in probably that Wednesday or Thursday, and then if she needs a whole full week, yeah. So if we go by that, my surgery will probably be. August 30th, maybe early September. What happened, honey? Come. Come. Come bring the car. Bring it. What you want mommy to do with it? Come on. You want to... Dusty, get off my bed. Get off. Get off. Anyway. So, um... So, I'm just... So, I got home. I was in a funk for a while. Feel a little bit better, you know, watch TV, check my email, you know, my mind's off of that. But I, it's still like, if this was taken care of since June, four weeks would have been two weeks ago. And, you know, everything would have flowed. But no, you know, because of a doctor error, it puts me back. Because at the same time, I wanted to, like, apply for school. And school starts at the end of August. And if my surgeries, I mean... I'll be totally missing a lot of days, you know. I don't want to run to school being all sore. I want to take my time. So this really puts a hamper on everything, you know. So that's kind of what's what frustrated me because it's like not only is it a late day, not only is it like something I've been waiting for, looking at the clock, trying to even get an earlier date. Not only is it that, it's just the fact that now, plus my whole schedule of what I wanted to do, it's changed, you know, because of the surgery and because of a doctor's error. And it's like, there's nothing that's going to stop me. I'm still going to have my surgery. And if it's late, then it's, it's late. But it's just like, it's very upsetting. It's like, because to me, it's like, you know, I've been, if I go to a doctor, you know I'm coming in strictly for weight loss related. It's kind of like, uh, you know, I think there's just a miscommunication because it's like, I think maybe she felt that, um, that the doctor would still do it you know but to me that's something that she should have verified you know it's like if you're my doctor and you know this is what I'm here for you like I don't think I, I don't think I'm supposed to verify it if you tell me it's something that, that n to not even treat you know what I'm saying then I'm thinking okay it's not a, an issue you know if it's something that if I knew if I was taking pills since then just because she wanted me to take pills I would have I would have, because uh, I, uh, cause I go to see my surgeon tomorrow, I would have, like, asked them, you know, it's just like, that. it would have been asked, you know, if anytime I'm taking something, as, you know, I, I would have asked, you know, but it's just like, I, I had my faith in my doctors. Also, too, um, I, I don't know, I'm just going to sum it up to, like, miscommunication, or just like, oh, well, you know, but I really, I'm just super, super pissed today. Um, I had something to say, but I forgot. So, she, yeah, so she said to still bring it in tomorrow because there's a possibility, because she says they usually test after 10 days, so it's a possibility that it's cleared. So it's just strange. She's saying it's a possibility, and he's saying that it still will be leaving the system. So I find that strange because he's the first. He was like, that's their specialty, you know. So, I mean, I'm going to take that with a grain of salt because... I have I've been witness to you know them and when I say them I mean either screw up and date I just hold my doctors in school but I I don't think so but the only thing keeping me there is my surgeon other than that it's just like you know it is what it is it, may, it really really makes me want to go to another hospital to have my surgery or just to you know I don't know but that's where my surgeon is and I know more than one person that has one to him excuse me, my surgeon, so, but, um, so, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to walk around with some doo-doo, and, um, all I can do is just cross my fingers, just cross, that's all I can do, I could be mad as heck, but all I can do is just totally, like, cross my fingers, but, it's one thing to, it to be my fault, like, you know, it's one thing for me to mess up a date because I didn't do something or for me to just mess up something in the future because I didn't do something in the past, but it's just like because somebody else did it, a doctor error, that, that's not something I take lightly, not at all. 
So, I'm hoping Christina is right. And I'm able to, you know, take the test. I mean, I could take the test anytime I want to. You know, it it won't hurt. But, um, but luckily I did make an appointment with GI. So, I, yeah, so, I'm going to see what my surgeon says tomorrow, too. See how he feels. Um, I think what they're going to do, I guess Christina might discuss with my surgeon. And, because she said how they changed the policy. Because I know different people... H. pylori is an issue and a doctor works on it. So that's probably what my doctor saw, but she didn't know that because of my insurance. So I guess, you know, I can't completely blame her, but I still, it's just like, you know I'm having surgery that requires my stomach and something's up with my stomach and you don't really think. It's just, it's still some kind of disconnect there, you know? And, you know, because it's like, I can't really say that. I mean, usually... I do research on my own stuff, but it's just, I just didn't this time. So, a part of me, a part of me too, I blame myself for not researching, you know, because I, I, I'm usually not the person to always go about what the doctor says, you know, because doctors, they have to, you know, they're taught a certain way how to, to be doctors. They're not always into natural therapies or you know, it's at the same time too, it's a money making business. But um what I could do is cross my fingers to see what my surgeon says tomorrow and I will definitely let you guys know. Um I feel that once so I'll know definitely though by Friday, like if he leaves this as it is, I'll know by Friday then I'll just call him to make an appointment and to, to reschedule my surgery. I'm just glad, you know, everything else pre op the test, all that stuff is done. Hopefully I don't have to do it again. But I heard that it's good for like a month or two months. So, um or three months I think. So, um it's just it's just so crazy. It's just so so crazy. Um something I had to say. I've it's been better taking the medicine like I haven't had, like, headaches or... I was gassy, like, two days ago. It's strange. It's like, I feel like almost every day is different. Like, you know, one day I have, like, very metally taste in my mouth. And then one day, it's, like, headache and kind of fogginess. And, like, today I was okay. So, I mean, that's the story with that. I want to show you these. For all my girls who like cheetah print. Ow. Okay, so... I got some Sally Henson's nail effects right here, and it's okay. Um, I put it on yesterday. They're still going strong. What happens is I only see a small chip. What happened is I put a clear coat on top, and I have a clear nail polish that it sucks. A lot of people use it, but I think maybe I might use too much because what happened is sometimes it will make it too heavy, the nail polish heavy, whether it's, you know, normal or this this is the first time trying this out and it will chip the nail polish so it'll make it co I can like completely peel it off with that like nail po it's supposed to be um a protector so mm -hmm. strange but going on strong I heard it's supposed to last up until 10 days um I'm gonna see I have I bought a whole bunch of colors I love cheetah I am definitely getting a cheetah tattoo I gotta figure out where originally I wanted to do it on my shoulder it's just so much things I have to do. So much work I'm going to do on my body. But, um, yeah. So, anyway, thanks to any new subscribers and old subscribers. And I hope everyone has a great day. Bye.